We've been wondering about this the whole time. The can. We're gonna take this can and we're gonna pull the air out of it. But so this, I'm gonna swing around to the like front. Pretty firm metal. Doesn't it? We're gonna need a big force to crush that can. And the force we're gonna use is a giant. We're gonna use the force of the atmosphere. So let's go ahead and turn on the pump. Sorry. Now we're gonna start to pull air out of the can. We're just gonna let that sit for a while because there's a lot of air in the can and it's gonna take some time. What's happening with this is exactly what happened with you. Oh. I think one just went. Something's through. starting to happen. So we're just gonna monitor it. But right now we're, we're taking air and we're pulling it out of the can. And so there's less pressure inside the can and there's more pressure outside the can. But we can do this with a smaller can. This is the same kind of pump. And if I take this can and I put it on this little, what'll happen is there's air inside the can, there's air outside. But if I pull the air out of the can, what happens is this. Oh, I already see the difference. Oh, 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 oh. Now, That's what's, gonna what's compressing that. the can? Uh, molecules. And the molecules on the inside or on the outside? Outside. On the outside. I'm trying to get in. Exactly. Now I'm gonna show you another thing that works this way. How do you blow up a balloon? You add use, air, or you, add you air use, to it. Or you use, use your water thing that was The like, water thing yeah, does it. you use your lungs. And normally you do it like this, right? More pressure inside, and then it expands. Here's another way you can blow up a balloon. I've got a device over here, and this is a giant balloon inside giant a giant container. giant water filler. And Ellis, can you go ahead and hold this? It's just oh, like your diaphragm. Right like that. This is just like how you pull air into your lungs, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. if I put this device right here, and I run the pump, this isn't a pump that pumps air out. This is a pump that pulls air in. What it does is it pulls air out of the bottle, and it blows up the balloon. But tell me, what is actually blowing up the balloon? It's not the pump. The air that's going in there. The air that's going in there. It's the air in the it's room. It's sucking it. It is. We're pulling air out of the bottle, and then the air in the room runs inside there and it actually blows up like I can put my finger inside it. Now what we're gonna do next, we've got an experiment which is happening right over here. Pressure is going down inside the drum, and I want you folks to stay on this side and kind of like watch towards the drum. You want to stay back a little bit. Okay. Because when this thing, it's going to do the same thing the small cans did, did. but when it goes, it's going to go whoop. It's going to go. Oh, yeah. Now, right now it's really strong because it's a nice, even shape. But if I take that shape and dent it just a little bit, it's going to go. Go ahead and wash the drum. Are you ready? Count of three. One, One two, two, three. Oh yeah. <laughs> and there it goes. And you know what? Now that it's crunched, it'll start. It'll keep on going. As we pull air out, it turns into it's always a makes triangle. a three side. It always makes a triangle every time we do this. And you can see it's pretty skinny. And what was the thing that crunched it? It wasn't the hammer. What was it? It was the molecules. It was all those molecules of air slamming into the sides of yeah, it. As we continue to pump air out of it, it's gonna continue to go in. 